cleansing is a hot topic within the alternative health community. Cleansing is a buzzword. Detox, detox, detox. Everybody wants to do a detox. But should you do a detox? Is it right for you? You should not cleanse if you are malnourished, if you are in deficiency, if you do not have adequate nutrient reserves capable of facilitating the healthy detoxification process, you should not be cleansing. You're going to cause more stress to your body and you're not actually going to be fasting, you're going to be starving. And this is going to result in many, many conditions that could arise, whether that is something to one extreme as a heart attack, or whether it's something as simple as your hair starting to fall out and your nails starting to break. You do not want to be doing that when you're deficient. You should not cleanse if you are planning to conceive within six months. You should not cleanse if you are pregnant or lactating. During those times, your body requires lots of nutrients, fat reserves, and necessary minerals, vitamins, etc. to feed a growing infant, whether that's in the womb or whether that's external. You are putting your body under stress, which is a good thing, but you should not be cleansing while doing so. And if you do, you can actually put harm to your child, not just yourself, because when you cleanse, you're stirring up gunk, you're stirring up sediment, potential toxins that are stored within fat reserves, stored within joints. When these toxins get into circulation, if you cannot metabolize and excrete them fast enough, they can actually be passed over through the blood-brain barrier, in the case of consuming milk, as in an infant, or through the placenta during gestation. Examples of those are persistent organic pollutants, like DDT. Nasty compounds, fire retardants, that can actually be passed, and typically are passed, during even the best of times. So if you do want to cleanse under those circumstances, make sure that you cleanse at least six months or a year at best before conception. This is going to actually improve your overall health and well-being and help to facilitate a healthy child, so long as you remember to build after. Another factor to consider is you do not want to cleanse if you are highly athletic for long periods of time. If you are putting yourself under athletic stress, this isn't just regular activity of everyday living. If you are an athlete who is running, you're racing, you're doing sports and exercise that is putting stress on the body, a healthy form of stress, but causing your body to utilize more nutrients, you should not be cleansing unless you're going to be taking a sabbatical or a break from that level of performance. The other factor to consider when you should not be cleansing is if you are traveling long distances, whether that's air travel or whether that's commuting regularly to work and you're under a lot of stress at the office. If you're going to cleanse, you should be taking a break. You should do so on not just a weekend, but take an extra Monday off, for example, or a Friday off. Do so on a two-week holiday or if you're in a transition from work. This is the best time to cleanse. The last thing to consider when you should not cleanse is prior to surgery or immediately after surgery. These periods in one's life, and it doesn't happen for everybody, but these periods can be extremely stressful. Extremely stressful. You should not be putting extra stress and burden on your body when it needs to be building tissues and regenerating tissues. If you do so, you're going to cause a lot of risk of serious complications. And that can be easily avoided by not cleansing. And the last thing I want to mention is Timing. Timing is everything. Okay? In temperate climates, where you have four seasons, 
do not cleanse in the winter time or the peak of summer. Those are the worst times to cleanse. It's simple. During the winter time, there isn't a lot of nourishment available anyway in most, most uh, traditional societies and you're under a lot of stress from temperature and other environmental factors. During the summer, there's a lot more heat and you're more likely to deplete your body of essential electrolytes causing something as simple as a muscle cramp or potentially if you have heart disease, a heart attack. So do not cleanse during the summer. Cleanse during the transition from winter to spring or the transition from summer to fall. Those are the best times in temperate climates to do a cleanse. I hope that helps and that gives you some insight into the world of cleansing and detoxification. And remember, after you've done a cleanse, make sure to give yourself at least six months to rebuild and re-nourish 